Okay, so I did a video of how to install Fido S on the Raspberry Pi 4. This is my 8 gig model. I've got my wireless adapter plugged in for my Xbox 360 controller and uh, let's try some games out. So I have been sent some instructions on how to overclock but I haven't overclocked at the moment because I know some people don't like it when the system's overclocked. So I thought I'd try this first because I've been getting good performance anyway uh, but I need to go through the instructions and just see how it is and maybe put that in some sort of tutorial. Uh, because it's not as no, it's not as easy as normal. Right, so let's start off with a bit of GTA. And uh, this, I've had this working before with Consta Kang's uh, ordinary Android uh, image. I think it was Android 9 I used it on. And it worked pretty well. Um, but uh, subsequent to that, I couldn't get it to work. Hey, hey, hey. so there he is, huh? Hey. <laughs> So there is a bit of lag, but I would say it's still playable. Uh, obviously, I'd rather it didn't have the lag, but it is still playable. Let's see if we can find the sports car. Can I get in the garage? Yeah. Oh. oh, there's not a sports car in there. I did see a car. Oh, it's just a normal car, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well. As I've broken in, I might as well take this one. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. Oh, well, there's a wall there. Let's see if we can get some speed up. Not the fastest car, but we'll give it a try. I'm not sure if there's a jump along here. Must be a jump somewhere in there. No, there's no jump. Oh well, uh, let's try another game. So Gangstar is a game that uh, has a bit of a GTA th feel to it, it's not quite as polished, but actually works pretty well and there's some different elements in there. And this is a bit more laggy than GTA, but works alright. So you can see here, she's driving and i just got to take out the cars behind me. And yeah, it, it actually works pretty well. Right, let's try something else. So Ocean Horn, I think it's Ocean Horn 2 I played on um, the Apple TV and that was very impressive on, on Apple Arcade. This is the previous version and still works all right uh, and it looks nice and it has that sort of puzzle element to it as well uh, and a little bit of combat. See all the water effects look nice. Here we go. So again, I'm using the controller so I can walk around but also have some fighting elements to it as well. There you go, and you've got all these people you can speak to. It is pretty decent, actually. I see I've got a notification from Gangstar, but it didn't seem to slow anything down. All seems to be working all right. So Into the Dead 2 is kind of on rails, but still pretty enjoyable, quite decent graphics, and uh, yeah, I quite like the gameplay on this. Okay, looks like we have a crash. I'll just restart that. Okay, so it crashed on that game. Um, a little tip, though, is uh, if you if it crashes and you can't get it to boot again, Unplug all the media before you restart. So I unplugged my SSD drive. I restarted so it comes up with the Raspberry Pi menu. Then I plug my USB in and then it works fine. But I sometimes find that if I turn off and turn on again, uh, it doesn't necessarily boot straight up. I also had a tip on the controller. Sometimes you just have to unplug it and plug it in again. Uh, not all Android games recognize it. Chrome OS has traditionally been quite fussy with controllers, but this seems to be a lot better now. So into the dead, let's try it again. Okay, so it's definitely doing something weird. I'm gonna to have to come back to that. Maybe if, maybe it's because I changed the resolution. So I'm playing all this at 720, and maybe I tried it yesterday at 1080. I don't think I did, but I'll, I'll maybe try it at a different resolution. So let's try Asphalt 8. Yeah, the frame rate isn't, isn't as good as I would like it, but, uh, but it's still playable. So let's skip into something else. So Minecraft trial, I put the settings to as low as they would go, and uh, and it was it was playing alright actually. So this is just the trial version. I hadn't realised there was a, uh, a trial version of this game on Android. 
So you can see uh, right stick to look around. Again, no configuring at all. Uh, it's not as smooth as it could be, but it's still playable. So if I was to mine something and then pop some blocks, there you go. So you can see it's working. Uh, again, not not fast, but uh, but it's playable. There's some creep. Oh, no, it's a sheep. And the sounds are working as well. So let's try something else. So Call of Duty, I'll I'll put it on, but unfortunately it doesn't work properly because it doesn't seem to have controller support, or the controller support that's there uh, works with an Xbox One Bluetooth controller, but I tried to pair my Xbox One Bluetooth controller and I couldn't get it to pair. Okay, so my controller's not working, but if I, I can move around uh, and I can do this sort of stuff. But the issue is, <laughs> that if I want to shoot, I have to do... I don't know if I can move it around when I shoot, can I? <laughs> oh, someone's down. <laughs> I think it's against me. So you can see, it's too laggy to play, really. Oh, this guy's on my side. Anyway, so I'll quit out of that because you can see that that's not, even if the controls were, were working, uh, I don't think it's really playable, but it's quite an ambitious thing to try and get working on the Pi. So Fancy Pants, I really like the level design of this. Uh, the gameplay is really smooth, it's really enjoyable to play, and it doesn't feel laggy at all. I know it's uh, basic graphics, but it really is just an enjoyable game to play. And you do a lot of a lot of this so you can land on the top of things, although it looks like I didn't land on the top enough. Um, go through doorways. Uh, you can bounce up over things. So you can see here. There's loads to explore. It, I definitely recommend it. I really enjoyed playing it. So Xenowork was uh, a top-down shooter, I think. So this is, is really enjoyable to play, and uh, you can see that you can look around with the right stick, but also you can shoot with the right button, uh, and you move around with the left stick. And uh, it's really, really good level designs, really enjoyable to play. So I like the way you can run away while still firing at things. And good sound, just just overall really enjoyable. Oh, this guy's not the easiest to kill. There you go. So I think we've got one more game to try before I try and change the resolution. So let's try a little bit of Legends. So I thought this this looks pretty decent. Uh, again, uh, it it could definitely. It would benefit from being a bit faster. I think this is going to blow, so I've got to be careful here. There we go. Is there anything there? <laughs> it's hard to get the stick right. Definitely hard to aim. But I could see that maybe with overclocking this might be more like it. But it's it's really hard to aim with the controller. So that's all of those. So I wanted to try into the dead. So what I'm going to do is just try and change that resolution and see if that works. So probably the other way would be to uninstall it and reinstall it, I guess. But uh, so device displays, and we'll pop that back up to 1080. So you can see it's at 1080 now. So let's try into the dead two again, and hopefully we'll get something different. So let's reinstall that uh, because it's it's definitely not working properly now. Uh, so what was it, Into the Dead? So let's go Into the Dead 2 and uninstall. And let's go into the Play Store 
let's do a search for it. Click on that and install. Okay, so it's working now. I've reinstalled it and restarted. I'm on 1080 as well, and it seems to be working fine. You can see here, you can move left and right. Uh, you can see there, run over the ammo crates. Uh, and the idea is mainly to avoid them. But uh, obviously there may get times when you need to get a bit too close and then you might have to shoot. You get to that ammo crate. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.